Before we talk about the two different types of themes, your basic and arrow, first of all, what is a theme? Well, a theme includes four basic elements to help you personalize your computer, make it more you, make it more pleasing to the eye for you to work in. For example, the first element is going to be your Windows desktop background picture here. And of course, we learned how to change that in the Windows 7 Level 1 training video. The second element is going to be the color of your windows. For example, if I open up my folder, what's the color of the window? It's blue. The third element are going to be the sounds of the window here, or Windows, Windows 7. For example, have you ever downloaded something from the internet? And when it's finished downloading, you get this little blip. Well, if you got your speakers cranked, you'll hear it, this blip. Or, if you come down here and you right-click on the garbage can, and you want to empty the recycle bin here, when you're emptying it, again, if you have your speakers turned up, you'll hear the sound of crumpling paper. And yes, you can go ahead and customize those sounds to whatever sounds you have installed on your computer, or you can get installed on your computer. And I'll show you how to customize those sounds in the next training video to maybe the sound of a dog barking when you're emptying the garbage can. That's kind of fun. And then the fourth element is going to be your screensaver. Now with these four elements making up a theme, what's the purpose of having a theme? Well, maybe not much if all you care about is just the pictures on your Windows desktop background here. But if you want something consistent, not only on the desktop background, but the color of your windows and the sounds and the screensaver, for example, you can actually set all these up and save them as a theme. Like if you want to have a happy theme. For my Windows desktop background here, I can have a picture of a bunch of friends smiling. And then for the color of my windows, something bright and cheerful, like maybe yellow. And then for the sounds, some people laughing, clapping, cheering. Maybe every time I empty the recycle bin, people are cheering because I'm getting rid of garbage. And then finally, the screensaver element, I can have just a bunch of friends smiling and having that rotating throughout the uh, screensaver when it's turned on. So once I go ahead and I set all those different elements, I can save that as a theme and call it my happy theme. And again, we'll learn this in the next training video. But keeping that in mind, you can have additional themes. You can actually download themes from Microsoft, like they have the dog theme, a bunch of dogs. When you do stuff, it'll have the dogs barking, horses, different animals, things like that. And all it takes is after you save those themes, you can toggle back and forth between all those themes. Like if today I'm feeling happy, in a single click, I can implement my happy theme. I get my desktop background, the window colors, the sounds, the screensaver, all in a single click. Of course, I have to set it up first, but once it's set up, I just have to click to choose those different themes any day of the week. So that's the purpose of the themes, is to have something consistent across the board with those four elements as we just talked about. Kind of like going to a movie. Think of it like this. If you're watching a movie and it's some thriller, something scary, what if the music was all happy in the background and something like a circus? Wouldn't quite match, would it? Well, just think of it like that with your theme. If you've got happy people on the desktop background, maybe you want some happy sounds, happy colors, and so on. Now those are themes, and the themes are separate from the effects of your themes. Your basic and arrow are theme effects. For example, where do I find these? All you have to do is either come over here and click on the Start button, go up and click on the Control Panel, come up here and double click on the header bar to maximize it, and then come down here and click on Change the Theme or close out. When in doubt, just find a blank area somewhere on your desktop and right click and go to personalize. It brings up the same window, right? As we just talked about, down below at the bottom of the screen here, you've got your four elements that make up a theme. First of all, you have your desktop background, windows colors, sounds, and screen saver. And then up here, you've got your themes. Now remember, there are two different types of themes. You have your arrow themes, and then scroll down, and you have your basic themes. The difference between arrow and basic are the effects. The arrow effects, when you apply it, takes up at least one gigabyte of memory, or RAM. So it's taking up system resources if you want to get those special animation effects. As we talked about in the Windows 7 Level 1 training videos, you know, the arrow effects, the flip, the peak, the shake and snap. You don't get those when you apply any of these basic themes here. So for example, if I hold down the Control key, and I hit the Windows key, and I hit the Tab key, and I let go of the keys, that's a shortcut to allow me to see all the windows that are open in 3D view and leave them up there even though I let go of the keys. And then I can just hit the tab key to toggle through each one of those. There's my desktop. Let me go back to where I left. And then when I'm done, I can just hit the escape key and it brings it back to me. Now, if I come down here and I don't select an arrow effect, I select a basic effect. And you can see there are six of them. Let me do a Windows Classic. Click on it. 
give it a second or two and ugh, look at that look at these bars I'm just not impressed with this but if you like it great but when I go ahead and I hold down those same three keys control windows and then hit tab nothing go ahead and try it yourself you don't get those fancy effects that's the bad news but the good news is is that you're not using up a gigabyte of RAM to be able to have all those animation effects you can still do the alt and hit the tab key but you'll notice that here when this window comes up when you do alt tab I still got my uh, alt key held down after I hit the tab key I let go of the tab key that you just get the icons of the programs that are open there's the icon for word you can see I've got word down here there's the icon for the desktop or the computer let me go ahead and just let go of the alt key if you had the arrows effect like let me scroll back up this unsaved one let me click on that and you hit the alt tab you see how you get the actual mini thumbnail view of the desktop the word document and then of course our window here let me let go where the other one didn't give us much it just gave us two little icons you'll notice that when I go back to click my unsaved theme here that up at the top my window color is transparent and it's not looking like the same window color so it's probably best that when I apply something that I actually save it as a theme or if I need to make changes to it like the windows color click on it get rid of transparency and go back to my original color here and click save changes and ah, I'm feeling better already